Legend is a word that is thrown around all too often this day and age, but the term surmises the reign of the Mapogo Lions in the Sabi Sands to perfection. Immortalized by the famous wildlife documentary, Brothers in Blood, The Lions of the Sabi Sand, the Mapogo Lion Coalition was a notorious band of brothers that went on a vicious quest to dominate and rule the Sabi Sands region in South Africa's Kruger National Park. The coalition became infamous for its sheer power and strength in taking over and controlling an area of approximately 70,000 hectares. They were true warriors and proved themselves time after time on the field of battle. During their prime, six of these magnificent specimens patrolled their territory, dispatching all competitors and striking fear into the hearts of all that found themselves in their way. In the first months of 2006, the five sub-adult lions in Makulu left their pride. They now had to fight for themselves, but by sticking together, they increased their survival chances. Whilst living among themselves, the lions learned to be successful hunters. As they grew in size and experience, they were able to take down large prey, such as hippos, young rhinos, and even giraffes. According to Dave Salmoni, successfully taking down Cape Buffalo was their key to success. During the buffalo hunts, Kinky Tail, also called Shaka, and Mr. T, also called Satan, were often observed being more aggressive and bringing down the buffalo. The coalition of six male lions first appeared in March 2006, when they claimed the territory of their own by force. Usually, lions are quiet when entering a new area, but the Mapogo clan moved in with great dominance and power, roaring loudly and killing the males from the area with ease. For rangers and trackers, the idea of a six-member coalition was extremely rare, and in the years to come, they witnessed the most relentless reign for power and dominance known to the lion population. The Lion Coalition was allegedly named after South Africa security company, Mapogo A. Mathemaga Security. No longer in operation, the Mapogo A. Mathemaga was known for its intense and often brutal forms of dealing with criminals. The six lions of the Mapogo Lion Coalition are named Makulu, the leader, Dreadlocks, Pretty Boy, Rasta, Kinky Tail, and Mr. T who was notorious for his extreme brutality, got his name from the classic Mohawk style resembling that of the Mr. T character from the A-Team. These six male lions originated from the Spartan, Airfield Field Pride, sired by the West Street males. Makulu, the oldest member, is the only lion who came from a different pride, while the rest were brothers. During their rule, the Mapogo Coalition wiped out countless prides. Together, they killed over 100 lions that posed a threat to them, including females and cubs. Brutalists, they took over whole territories with unprecedented aggression, and challengers were often eaten during acts of defiance. The Coalition of Six shifted the entire ecosystem in the Sabi Sands area dominating and controlling an area that was once ruled by eight other prides. The Mapogo Lions are probably the most well-known lion coalitions in recent history. They became famous for their brutal and ruthless tactics and how quickly they took over their new territory. They were different from normal coalitions in that they killed just about every lion that they came across. While not unheard of, it's less common for lions to form such big coalitions. With six members, the Mapogo Lions had a massive advantage. So, instead of many smaller coalitions fighting for dominance, the Mapogos were able to rule over eight prides, completely changing the entire Sabi Sands ecosystem. The Mapogo Lions were also reported to have taken down buffalo, adult giraffes, and even young rhinos and hippos. Not only were they killing every lion that crossed their path, but also eating them. The Mapogo Lion Coalition's ability to control and protect such an expansive area of land was unprecedented in the lion population. They will forever be remembered for the legendary force. How did the Mapogo Lion Coalition break? Despite ruling a large territory, 
the Mapogo coalition wasn't functioning smoothly due to internal rivalry. Many fights often broke out between the leader Makulu and Mr. T. A closely contested clash then happened between Mr. T and Makulu, in which Makulu managed to grab and bite Mr. T's legs and win the encounter. After this fight, it was observed that Mr. T and Kinky Tail broke off from their four brothers and headed east to control the northern part of the territory. Mr. T and Kinky Tail were then seen patrolling and guarding their territory for two years, managing to fight off other rival lions. However, in June 2010, a coalition of five male lions named the Meijing Jilangs entered Mapogo territory to take over. The five males were witness scent marking and roaring loudly near the Mapogo's territory. In a buffalo hunt, Kinky Tail and Mr. T were able to isolate the youngest of Meiji Jingling males who were on the lookout and began chasing him. Soon, they caught the intruder and Mr. T bit down on the male's neck. Mr. T ripped apart the male's groin area, inflicting tears and bleeding. The Meijing Jilin male tried to fight back. Eventually, Kinky Tail and Mr. T managed to break the fifth Meiji Jinglane lion's spine, and he was left immobilized and left to die a few hours later. Later that same night, a filming crew witnessed the four remaining younger Meiji Jinglane lions on the move. Two of them were exposed to Kinky Tail, who immediately charged at them all by himself. They ran with KT on their tail, and the remaining two Meiji Jinglane lions came up behind KT. Without the experience of being afraid of anything, Kinky Tail attacked all four of them by himself, eventually on a dirt road, under a cloud of dust. The four Meiji Jinglanes had pinned down Kinky Tail. The four males immediately started to bite and rip apart Kinky Tail. One lion was biting his neck, another at his back, the third bit off Kinky Tail's testicles and genitalia. The Meiji Jinglanes managed to successfully snap Kinky Tail's spine thus immobilizing him and leaving him with zero chance of survival. Mr. T eventually arrived and attempted to rescue and fight off the Meijing Jilanes, but was outnumbered and outmaneuvered and forced to flee. Two Meijing Jilanes attempted to track Mr. T, but were unsuccessful and returned to kill Kinky Tail. The four lions had started eating most of Kinky Tail's hind legs and his entire tail. He was seen taking his last breath while being eaten alive. During the altercation, Mr. T attempted again to save his brother. However, still injured from the previous encounter, his attempt was to no avail, and he again fled. Meijing Jilain lions took over the territory and the pride of the two defeated lions. Following Mr. T's death, the last remaining Mapogos, Makulu, and Pretty Boy had to leave their territory to Salatis, fought a coalition of two Kruger males, Freddy and Limper, to occupy their territory and were driven off their territory. One of the Kruger males, Limper, later died due to injuries from Makulu. They were sighted in 2012 side by side, entering the Kruger National Park through the gate attributed to Paul Kruger. The remaining two were once again seen feeding on a buffalo in October to November 2012. In January 2013, Makulu was seen for the last time at Mala Mala, neighboring his old haunt, the Sabi Sand Reserve. At this point, he was almost 15 years old and largely exceeded the average male lion's life expectancy. Should the wildlife officials have intervened with the Mapogo lions? With the sheer brutality of what the Mapogo lions got up to, and the high numbers of lions that they killed during their reign, many have said that the wildlife officials should have intervened. However, even though this was an extreme case, lion coalitions are part of nature. Only the strongest and most ruthless lions will become resident males, ruling over prides. Male lions will always do what they can to survive and pass on their genes which forming coalitions allows them to do. The Mapogo coalition was not the first, nor will it be the last large coalition. While it seems hard to comprehend how the lion population will survive these killings, they will. The survivors of each onslaught will become the next generation, just as the survivors of the past large coalitions. While it certainly is harsh, it's just the nature of lions 
fending for themselves in the wild. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. time.